Hello again, pre-calculus students. Previously, I gave you an assignment to derive, not determine, but derive the equation of an ellipse from the definition. Let's take a look at the problem I gave you. The problem I gave you said that if we have two fixed points, the focal points, at five and negative five, zero, and the sum of the focal radii is 26. What is the equation of the ellipse? <clears throat> we should be able to determine that equation by looking. We know that it's um, 2a is going to be 26, so a is 13. We can tell that the major axis is horizontal, so it's going to be x squared over 169 plus y squared over something equals 1. Well, we know that C, because the, here the center is at 0, 0, so C is 5. So uh, A squared minus B squared equals C squared. A squared minus C squared equals B squared. 13 squared minus 5 squared is 12 squared. So the answer is X squared over 169 plus Y squared over 144 is equal to 1. But we didn't derive it from the definition. <clears throat> The definition says that the from two fixed points, the sum of the focal radii is a constant. So all we get is this from the definition. <clears throat> so the distance from this random point, x, y, to here is given by the distance formula. You might say, well, why can't I just use some point up here, you know, directly between them? Because from the definition, we don't even know if there's a point up here. We just have to pick a random x, y, which is what I did. So... Now what we'll do is we're just going to play with the algebra here until we get that x squared over 169 plus y squared over 144 equals 1. And there. Now when I work, you can, you can watch the energy in my face. <coughs> so when we solve a problem that has two radicals in it, we always want to get one radical all alone on one side of the equal sign and then square to get rid of the radical. So I'm going to move this radical to the other side. Now I'm going to square both sides of the equation. Watch carefully what happens over here. When I square this side, the radical goes away. <clears throat> but here, this is like a minus b, and I have to square that. So it's actually um, going to be a perfect square trinomial. I have to foil that. And I'll just cut to the chase here on when you simplify it after foiling it, this is what you get. Here's my a squared, here's my negative 2ab, and here's my b squared. <clears throat> so now I'm going to foil all this out. Now, just like here, this is x plus 5 squared. We know the answer isn't x squared plus 25. We have to FOIL it. Same reason we had to FOIL this.
Good times, huh? But now take a look. <clears throat> this term cancels. This term cancels. This term cancels. These don't because this is positive 10x and this is negative 10x. So what I need to do now <clears throat> is I need to get this radical term all alone on one side of the equal sign so I can square again. So I'm going to bring it over here to make it positive. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this 10x to the other side. <clears throat> and now I have to square both sides. The catch, though, is that when I square this side, this is like A times B quantity squared. We know that that's equal to A squared times B squared. So I have to square the 52 and square this radical, and then I have to FOIL this again. Let's switch paper and let's even switch color. We'll uh we'll shake this up a bit. I know I'm a happening kind of guy. So when I square the 52, get 2704. And when I square the I get rid of the radical, so that's just gonna leave this. And then when I square that other side, the 676 minus 20x, I get some crazy number. Now, I seriously recommend <clears throat> that you take that 676 minus 20x and square it and make sure that you get this. Make sure that you know how to do that. Now I'm going to um, multiply this out. And that will be the same. And then when I distribute this 2,704, ooh, look at that. I get a negative 27,040x. Got the same thing up here. That's going to cancel. Very exciting. All righty, now I'm going to copy this down. <clears throat> now, what cancels? Well, I've got a positive 67,600 over here. I can uh, subtract that from here. Now, let's cancel these first. And I'm going to get, be left with Now I'm going to bring this 67,000 over to the other side. <clears throat> um Okay. Now I can subtract that 400x squared. Now you'll notice <clears throat> if we were to put this into 
general form, it would be 2,304x squared plus 2,704y squared plus 0x plus 0y minus 389,376 equals zero. That would be general form. Now what we would do is we'd notice that A and C are of the same sign and they're different numbers. So that would mean either they're an ellipse, a degenerate ellipse, which is a point, or no graph at all. But we can tell here by dividing by 389,376, and that's so exciting, I got, we gotta change colors again. Now we're gonna get just what we knew we would get from the very beginning. The nifty part is though, that we have derived this equation from the definition using a lot of algebra, not just um, from our knowledge of ellipses. And we could actually show <coughs> if we had used C instead of um, um, five, um, we could actually show that you would actually get, you know, X squared over half of the, you know, D1 plus D2 quantity squared. And we could get all those uh, formulas that we already know about ellipses. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, my guess is you didn't have as much fun with it as I did, because I love this stuff. I love the factoring. I love the regrouping and stuff. So um, that's it. Have a great one. And I got it. Oh, there it is. There's a shut off. Now, have a great one.